Hello everyone! With this video I want to show you what I do first when I want to digitally color my illustrations. First I made this drawing in graphite, mostly pencil and I even use this graphite powder. Then I took the drawing to the scanner and scanned it. Now I have it open in my Photoshop as you can see. I will show you step by step my way to separate the drawing from the background. Why do we need to do this? As you know, Photoshop is a program that implements the use of layers. But if we have the layer of the drawing mixed with the background, it will be very difficult to color without covering the lines of the drawing. So I will teach you to separate the drawing from that background. Our image has this locker icon. This means we don't have all the layers functions available. So double click on the background layer or click on the locker icon. Now the layer is ready for the next step. We select the whole image and cut it. Now we have a clear layer. Use the paint bucket to paint the entire layer in black. All right, now click in quick mask mode. Right there. Now you will see the layer turn in red. Now you just need to go edit and paste. The drawing appear only it is look red. It is because it is still in quick mask mode. The only thing that we have to do right now is just click over there one more time. And then, without deselecting it, go to Edit and Clear. Here we go. We have a layer without any white, only with the lines of our drawing. We can create a new layer where we can paint without damage our drawing. Now I will give you a small demonstration of how you can color from there. Make sure you are in the right layer before start painting. Actually, to avoid any mistake, rename the drawing layer. For example, I will name it Lines. Now you can start using a paintbrush 
or another tool that you prefer without care too much for the lines. Okay, I will take a paintbrush and a random color and I will paint right here. As you can see, my drawing is intact. Another thing, if you have the colors separate in different layers, it will be better when you decide to correct them. But this is already a subject or a theme for another video. Okay, I hope you will put my advice into practice and you find it useful. Remember, I am making a webcomic called Songs of Erling and I will be sharing process videos and tips for illustrators. Do not forget to visit my website with the link in the description and leave me a comment. Thank you for your attention guys.